Hi. So, one of the 101 things they don't tell you about working in the music industry is your image counts for a lot. A whole heap. How you look on stage is a huge percentage of how the audience will receive you. Now, you only have to think about the last concert you attended. Um, I'm talking about one of your local concerts, not one of your A-lister ones. And you saw, you're in the audience, you're not performing, you're in the audience. And you watch somebody go on stage to sing a song. What did you think when they were walking on stage? Did you think, oh, I like what they're wearing? Or did you think, oh, I'm not sure about that? You know, this is all sort of part of what people are thinking as you're going on stage. And then, of course, back to the concert, the person sings, and then you're thinking, oh, they can sing because of how they look, didn't kind of match up. Or you're thinking, Ooh, they can't sing, irrespective of what they're wearing. As an independent artist who self-manage, I pretty much go on and do my own thing. So over the years, I've been figuring out my image and I'll probably put up a couple of pictures, maybe, maybe not, of what I used to look like. But this year, I met up with my image consultant. Um, I sort of met with her about 19 years ago when I had my daughter and I was feeling really frumpy and really unloved and my husband bought me this wonderful Christmas present and she kind of helped me with my sort of workwear and daywear. I wasn't in music at the time. Now I'm rebranding myself and so I contacted her and she came up and she spoke with me and she went through my gig wardrobe and she threw out a lot of stuff. <laughs> she kept some stuff. I was really pleased about but she made some changes and she gave me some advice and some tips and we worked on some looks now she said to me Millicent when you do what I've told you to do there is going to be an immediate change on your playing and I was thinking I don't think so I play all right the looks gonna be just you know okay people are already receiving me I'm already doing X Y and Z anyway I made some changes, got this outfit sorted, and I kid you not, when I walked on stage, you could hear a pin drop. People are like, <gasps> and the cameras were coming out. And I'm like, whoa, she does know what she's talking about. But she got it right for me, and I'm just really, really pleased. And that's kind of why I'm putting on a, an event for women on Image in September. Anyway, um, that's what happened to me. Um, I also think of another sax player, actually. I, I won't mention her name, but you may know her. And I was sent her video uh, a while back. And uh, I looked at the video and I thought, yeah, it's kind of good. Yeah, she's doing quite well. A few months later, I was sent another video of her. And this time she changed her look. And I kid you not. She looked good, the playing matched, and that particular video went viral. So what I'm trying to say is, when you get it right in your image, you really don't know where your, that picture or that video that the audience is taking is going to go. Obviously that means publicity for you, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But your image is key. So here's some really quick fire tips. 